Bedell from the Maine Academy of Staged Combat. At the Maine Academy of Staged Combat, we study staged combat, both for stage and for film. I've done, I have an extensive film background and an even more extensive theater background. There are slight differences between uh, film fighting and stage fighting, but we cover them both here at this school. This series of YouTube videos are a very, very basic level of staged combat. The rules in it are safe if both parties, both combatants, are following every single rule. Eye contact, distance, um, and using your leprechaun, which you'll find out about in the 2008 class of the main academy of staged combat. And we're going to show you our very, very basic staged combat class, our first class that we take. We, I've already warmed everybody up. Uh, we use a lot of dynamic stretching to get ready for all of the dynamic moves that are involved in stage combat. The first thing we work on is stances. So you want your left foot forward. It is, your toe is pointing toward your imaginary partner. I'm not saying opponent, I'm using partner. Your right foot is pointed perpendicular to your left foot out to your right. It's almost as though your feet are in a box and your left toe is against one corner of the box, your right toe is against the opposite corner of the box. All right, from your general fighting stance, you have two more stances you can do without even moving your feet. You straighten your back leg and lean in just a bit, not like this, but just a little bit. That is your forward stance. We'll be using that a lot later. You straighten your front leg and lean back a bit. That is your back stance. We'll be using that also. Now we're gonna get right into punching. The first punch you're going to learn is an out of distance punch, which what that means is, can you face me? Um, I'm out of distance. Clearly you can see I'm not close to her. I don't need to get close to her. I don't need to lean in and get as close as I can to her. The way this punch works is all through angles. Um, may I have you stand in the box and face me? There you go. Uh, actually, cock out of the box a little bit. There you go. There you go. Now, if I do this same punch on her with the angle you're at now, uh oh, it's moving. So <laughs> now it's <getting> bucks. <laughs> um, it looks like I'm hitting her. Although she didn't react, but that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. I don't need to get close. I can be a foot away. I can be 18 inches away, and it's perfectly fine. Now, that's called a haymaker. A haymaker is done with your right hand. The way you do this is you prep by putting your fist out here. You also slide into a back stance. So you're back here and you twist your entire body all the way. When you get to the end, you straighten your arm and then let it just fall sort of organically. So at full speed, it swings all the way around. It's important for this one to be wide, very, very wide. This is stage fighting, not so much film fighting. We've got a wide audience that we need to cover. And the punch is going to sell at a different point for everyone in the audience. So we need to keep it wide. We can't do short and punches. Go ahead and throw me a haymaker. <sighs> okay, one thing that's important is don't lean in on the haymaker. You prep in a back stance and you throw in a fighting stance. You don't lean in for it. If I set up out of distance with Matt, and I lean in, I might hit him. But if I stay back here, I won't even come close. Makers. Never forget that we are actors. We're not just simply stunt people. As you're throwing, give it some attitude, and we want that, uh, that grunt, that yeah! We need that. That's what helps sell the violence of the story. Um, so prep for haymakers, please. Haymakers. There you go. And throw it. Ah, good. But no, it's okay. Your arm went like this. Really? You want to keep it straight all the way across. One more time. One more time. And prep. There you go. And throw it. That's more like it. All right. That's your first out of distance punch. Here's your second out of distance punch. I, um, it's called the hook. I call it the hook. It's from your left side. Same thing as a haymaker, same prep, only it's on your left side. Get your eye contact to your partner. That's very important. That you get that eye contact, you also with that judge distance to make sure that an out of distance punch is indeed out of distance. 
Set, arm is slightly bent, but uh, not bent too much. Get your eye contact. Swing all the way as wide as you can, still looking at your partner. Then at the very second where you can't go any further, straighten the arm and let it go. So at full speed, for you guys, it is That's right, let me hear it one more time. There you go. That was more like it. In theater, we do a sound effect called a nap. Obviously, it's not done in film. For a haymaker, I know we're revisiting right now, um, you've got your, your, uh, you're on guard up here, you're in your fighting stance. As you prep, you, you still watch your partner. As it's coming in, this fist now turns into a cupped open hand, and you pop yourself right on the collarbone. Right? Um, a flat hand hurts more, gives a higher pitch sound, but it hurts more. A cupped hand will save you from too much redness in here. If you work on this all day, doing, you know, 100 naps, yeah, it starts to hurt. But the real secret here is to make it a fist, pop, fist again. Don't let the audience know you opened your hand, and don't punch yourself in the collarbone, that hurts. So at full speed, you ready guys? And don't, elbow down. There you go. And don't forget your vocalization of this, and boom! All right, okay. Um, hooks, same deal, other side. Back here, and you're popping, making it a fist again. Full speed, it's boom. Okay, now let's demonstrate now Charlotte here. I'll show again that this is an out of distance punch. From this angle, this punch will not sell. It's not meant to at this angle. You wouldn't ever do a haymaker or a hook at this angle right here. I'm setting for the haymaker. I'm setting for the hook. Very important you keep your eye contact. Now we'll show you how it looks in the proper angleage. Actually, let me see if you get right there. Good. So I look at I look at her eyes. If I get that look, like I don't know what's gonna happen next, I don't throw the punch. If it's in the middle of a show, obviously you can't break character. Push the other actor, not really hard, just give him a little pop, and usually that brings him back into it. Sometimes even prepping. Like this kind of thing gets them, oh yeah, right, haymaker, got it. Okay, so I get my eye contact, I judge my distance. I know I'm out of distance. I set. <laughs> and she, when I, I don't throw another punch until she's looking at me. It doesn't matter. I don't care if the choreographer said punch and then punch again very quickly. If she's not looking at me, I don't throw a punch. So now I set for the hook and. <laughs> and you gotta look mean because nice people don't hit each other. Okay, now we go from out of distance punches to in distance punches. <laughs> All right, so now we're into in distance punches. This is what, the way this works. Now it maybe looked like I was very close, maybe it looked like a real hit. In reality, I'm punching here. That's where it really is going. I got lots of distance. From this angle though, <laughs> it doesn't look that way. Okay. Here's the way that works. You can step back. And everybody in good positions. Good job in your fighting stances. Now, first thing, as always, get your eye contact to your partner. Make sure you're in a good stance, your hands are up. The prep for the cross, this is what we're doing now, is the first in distance punch is a cross. You're going to a back stance and you're prepping this way. Right up by your ear, elbow is straight back. See how different it is from the haymaker prep. That's why I don't want you prepping this way, because that could be either one. So this is a cross, this is a haymaker. So you're back here, now this punch is not round like a haymaker, it's a rocket. It's like there's an engine on the back of your elbow, and you're doing it straight through. Here's another secret. Uh, Andrew, come here. Here's what I'm doing. I prep for this cross, this is in distance. I'm looking at his eyes, I prep. Now, my eyes flick, boink, right to here. And there's a little leprechaun floating over his shoulder. <laughs> I want to give you a focused punch here. I don't want you to just say, don't hit him in the head, because then it's, it's unfocused. 
When you're really hitting someone, you are focused on your target and you aim right for it. Okay, I didn't really hit him there, just so you know. Um, so my eyes flick over to this leprechaun and now I'm focused on that leprechaun. I'm going to hit that leprechaun. I punch at the leprechaun and go into a forward stance so that my elbow lines up with where his jaw was. Can you face me here now? All right. So as my prep, back stance, prep here. He sees that. He sees the eyes flick to the leprechaun. Now I'm coming in hard. He reacts right here, but my elbow keeps going to where his jaw was. I need to sell it in a theater to everyone, including the guy over there. That's the hardest guy to sell to for this particular punch. Um, also, it's worth noting, the further downstage the fight is, the harder it is to sell. If you have people who aren't used to fighting or haven't been trained, get your fight further upstage. Um, all right. So the back stance, prep, flick, bang. That's your cross. Let's set up. Fighting stances. Now, oh, who haven't I picked on? I haven't picked on Matt yet. All right. So, uh, every, everybody, prep. Tuck that thumb. I don't, I don't mean tuck it. I mean get it tight. Good. Good prep there. Good prep there. And I flick to the leprechaun and throw it. Good. Good. Go again. Straighten your wrist. In other words, you've got to get your elbow up so your wrist can be straight. And throw it with a nap. There you go. Good. All right. You've got another in-distance punch to go. This one I'm calling a jab. Again, I'm going to say it again. A lot of flight directors will use right haymaker, left haymaker. A lot will use right cross, left cross. I like to separate them. So we've now got the jab with the left hand. The prep is a little bit, you don't want to come up here because it's just very awkward to throw a punch that way. So you prep down here. Again, very different from the hook. Same thing with a leprechaun. Anything in distance, any, either of the in distance punches, you're using the leprechaun. Now the leprechaun is on your partner's left side. Twisting your body straight in with the elbow right here. If I may, I don't know if this is going to work or not. If I'm here, I'm now flicking like this. See where my eyes are? Wham! That's where my head, my fist is going. Off line of the head. Okay, you will hit what you're looking at. If you flick to the leprechaun and then look back to their face thinking, I don't want to hit him, you very well possibly will hit them and that will be why you hit them. Flick to the leprechaun and leave it there. Focus on it and slam it, reaching far enough in so that your elbow lines up with, the, with where their jaw was. One last tip. Again, same as the cross, you're prepping in a back stance, throwing in a front stance. That's different from haymaker hook. Haymaker hook, you prep in a back stance and throw in a fighting stance. You don't lean in. The jab and the cross, you lean in. Okay, let's set prep up for uh, jabs. Good. A little bit tighter. A little bit tighter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little bit lower, but other than that, good, 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 good. That's a perfect one. And throw it. Yeah. Again, don't make it round. Robin went a little bit round on that one. It's a rocket. It's straight through. Uh, I already used you. Ned, yeah, come here. If I'm, let's go this way. Okay. If I'm throwing a jab and I make it round, I'm going to go, Ugh! and that didn't sell for you. It's got to be a rocket straight through. Okay. I went up off my back leg. Let's do that again. And Ugh! I reach all the way through as far as I can without losing balance. Okay. If I round it at all, it's not going to sell. You're going to see the air between. You don't want to see that. There's still lots of air between over here. Can you be here, please? There's still lots of air. And then I'm going, wah! But the audience doesn't see that part. The hook and the haymaker are done upstage, downstage. The jab and the cross are done stage left, stage right. OK. Um, set up. We're going to talk about blocks now. Blocks are different in that a real martial arts block 
me orient myself this way. You're going to block with the bone of your arm because you want it to hurt. That's the whole point. But this is staged combat. We don't need to bash up each other's forearms. It's just not necessary. So we don't do this. We do this. This is for a left hand block. All right, this would block a haymaker, for instance. Okay. Now the haymaker, I've told you, the haymaker comes in like this. And that's correct. But if the choreography says that the haymaker is going to be blocked, now it's different. Now it's an in-distance haymaker. Uh, Matt. Yeah, Matt. Come here. The haymaker normally is way out of distance like this. Now I'm going in distance. And I'm going to turn my wrist. I'm going to start just like this, but I'm going to turn it this way. Why? Obviously, I want the soft part of my arm hitting the soft part of his arm. Nobody gets hurt. If the bone here hits his arm, I could bruise him. Okay? So what he's going to do is block that just like that. It's an in-distance haymaker. Obviously, if he didn't block, I could hit him. All right? It's in distance. If I go out of distance, first off, I'm going to punch him in the hand. All right? That's not a good thing. And even if he were to reach out, I've killed all the drama. The audience knows I'm not going to hit him. I'm way too far away. It's just not going to work. So we make it an in-distance. Bam! He blocks right there. So you don't want to go too high. You don't want to whack him in the arm with your elbow. That's all right. You want to definitely go for the jaw and make your forearm, as you do the block, make your forearm line up with your jaw. You don't want to be here because you'll, you'll punch him in the arm. You don't want to be here because you'll elbow him in the arm. So I'm going to go full speed. Good. See? And my fist stops right there. There's the other part. Can you be here, please? If I know that it's being blocked and I'm doing an instance haymaker, don't block this time. Don't even bother. Let's say he forgets. I stop it right where his block would be, no matter what. That does two things. It keeps it safe so that he mess, if he messes up, I still don't clock him. Another thing, too, I'm stopping right here. All my momentum is stopping. He's stopping right here. So we're not hitting all that hard. We're not smashing arms together as hard as we can. We're just yeah! and tapping. Go ahead and block. Yeah! See that? We're barely touching. That's, that's what you want. That's how you last in the business of stunts or being a stage combatant. You don't want to bash up your arms. Um, everybody set up in your fighting stances now. And I'm going to come around and check your blocks. I'll start with you. I'm going to do in distance haymaker and then in distance hook. Okay? You ready? You got your eye contact? And good. And out there yep. a little more. <laughs> there you go. That's okay. That's what we do this for. Ready? And haymaker first, then hook. That's okay. This also teaches good memory skills for choreography. Adjust the body. Okay. And good. Good. And good. And our arms are barely touching. She, I mean, I, I'm a bigger person than she is. I can blow right through that block. That's not the point of this. This isn't martial arts. This is stage combat. Good job. Uh, all right. Haymaker first, then hook. And good. A little lower. Almost got elbow. And Good. A little higher. <laughs> Matt. Ready? I'm going to go a little faster with Matt. Um, I'm going to go a little faster with you. If I don't have eye contact, I'm not going to throw the punch. Ready? And Good. I won't go that fast with you. <laughs> ah, down. Remember, you're protecting your jaw. That's all. And down. Good. Good. Going again? <laughs> and go again. <clears throat> Good. Good. There we go. Now, we can do this all in one scene. Let me use Ned. With choreography, we can, do, uh, we can mix out of distance and in distance with just some body motion. Our legs, this is a basic stage combat class, so it seems like our legs are planted into the floor and they never move. That's not the case. That's not where we're headed with this. So I throw a cross at Ned. And then we're going to readjust our bodies in an organic fighting way. And then I'm going to throw a haymaker at him. Okay? So I go cross. <coughs> Both punches were safe and in their proper distance, and they were a second apart. <coughs> so, 
we're going to move into flips now and give you a good reason to do in distance haymakers. So he starts there. We're using a mat. If you do this fall properly, you don't need a mat for it. But this is a basic class. I'm throwing an in distance haymaker. He's blocking me, as I told you. Now he's reaching. You see how his palm is up? All right, that's important. I'll show you why later. He, sw he swings his leg out. There you go. Grabs with this hand too. He's not really holding. He's not really holding. <laughs> there you go. Because it's all me now. And I step over. Boom. But we're not going to do that right away. We're going to go into simply a forward roll. He'll throw. And I'll do that. Nice and gentle. That's the way we're going to go. Okay. Uh, Charlotte. You throw the haymaker, slow. Now, target the jaw and do that. Okay. Now I'm reaching up this way with my palm up. If I do this, that's the way you actually dislocate a shoulder. We don't want to do that. That's real martial arts. We're not doing real martial arts. She swings, pop. I reach this way, swing my right leg back. I don't really have her arm. I'm just pretending to. Are you ready to? Okay, uh, not a flip, a forward roll. And whoom, good. And she's perfectly fine. Um, let's have you two, uh, why don't Matt flip Ned? Straighten that haymaker prep out. Yeah. You did. Good, 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 good. Your, your prep was still a little tight. It was between a hook and a haymaker. You want to have it way out. Uh, now, you just flipped him. So you flip him. No, no, no. You want to line up to the mat. Make sure the mat is to the right of and behind the flipper so that the flippy has a good running a good clear runway. Okay? Eye contact, eye contact, eye contact. I can't say that, especially in distance. Eye contact always. Good. Yeah. Um, no, you weren't totally in distance. You were a little out of distance, which is why your wrists hit. You gotta be a little further in distance. Now you flip her. You've already been flipped once, I know, but it's tough. <laughs> Good. Good. Now you flip him. <laughs> you. Good. Good. I don't know if you noticed. This is very important. His block came just a little bit late, but his fist stuck anyway, even though nothing was there to meet it. That's the right way to do it. Um, why don't you? No. You flip him. You ready to flip? Uh, the forward roll, not the header. Good. All right, we're going into the forward roll. Um, all these students have already learned it, which is why I didn't cover it before. Um, when I start people out, when they're not used to it, I start them down on the ground. Your knees are spread, your hands are below your head, essentially. You don't want them out here, because now you need more momentum to get over. You want to tuck your head and shoot your butt that way. Kick over with your feet, but leave them tucked in. The reason you want to leave them tucked in is you can then stand up very, very easily. Of course, all of this eventually, when it gets beyond basic stage combat, is all character motivated. You're not probably going to be flipped and land like an Olympian. It's probably not going to happen. You'll be flipped and go, ah, ah. but we're not at that point yet. That's why I'm teaching it this way. Once they've mastered this simple forward roll, then I have them starting from their feet. And you're just going into a very deep forward stance. My knee is still not going much of any over my toe. Get my hands on the ground. In this case, left leg up. If you're doing it this way, 
Right leg up, tuck, jump, and roll. Very simple. Now, we're moving on from the forward roll aspect of this, essentially a flip, like a judo style flip, to the header. The header is when you're doing essentially the same move, but no hands. Okay, so I'm gonna go fairly slow. I'm throwing the haymaker, he flips, and whoo! If you land right, you don't need a mat. I have no padding on my back, and I don't need it. When you land, you want to breathe out. Very important. You'll knock the wind out of yourself if you don't breathe out. You want to slap the ground with your hands, and slightly arch your back this way. Slightly. I don't mean like this, because then you're going to whack your head on the ground. Um, watch as I do this. Maybe we can slow it down in post. My back stays fairly straight as I go. It's not tough like it is in a forward roll, okay? And as I'm going over, I want to spot by watching the mat. I, there's a lot of things to think about here. Breathe out, very, very important. Right, good. Breathing out, um, and slap the mat. Your hands, not your elbows, your hands, that's the other reason for watching the back, should hit the mat a millisecond before you do, all right? And theoretically, the mat, generally should not slide. You don't want a whole lot of forward momentum on this, okay? So, as I go over. All right, my head, you'll know, never even comes close to the ground, okay? You don't want to whack your head. It's also leaning somewhat off the mat. That's okay, that's what we want. That means that's why I'm not sliding the mat. If I jump out so that my head's over the mat, I'll have forward momentum and the mat will slide. Then when you do it without a mat, you get rug burn or floor burn or whatever. Okay, Ned has done these before. You, uh, tell you what, I will flip you. I'll flip you on this side. That'll totally screw you up. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Okay. I'm drawing in Bam, bam, wow! And he landed good. Now he landed with both feet down, and that's, that's good. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, as you get better at it, I like it to be one foot, only because it looks more organic that way. It looks less rehearsed. What are you waiting for? Here you go. <laughs> and Matt, I'll do this the regular way. I'm upstaging you some, but you'll get over it. And go ahead. <laughs> All right, that was pretty much, that was the first one I've done so far at pretty much performance speed. He got a lot of air with that. And he landed flat, and you're okay, right? Call, it, call for an ambulance? <laughs> um, you ready for one? Don't worry, Charlotte, I'm not forgetting you. Uh, going on this side again. And eye contact, eye contact, eye contact. Check your stance, make sure your stance is right. You're ready to go? Okay, go ahead. There he goes. Good. A little bit of forward momentum, but not enough to give him a good burn. Do you want to try it with just the forward roll, or do you want to do a header? Uh, I don't know. Okay. See? <laughs> we want to keep it comfortable for the student. So you're just going to do a forward roll, but you're going to do it faster than before. We're going to do it performance speed. So it's still a forward roll. Use your hands. Okay? So throw your haymaker. Yeah! I feel so mean when I do that. <laughs> you okay? I'm fine. Good, good, good. Andrew, same deal. Forward roll with hands, but I'm going to go faster than I did the last time we did this. Yep. Come on in. In distance haymaker. So throw your slow haymaker. See? You're out of distance. There you go. There you go. Now he's in distance. See that? All right. Go ahead. Some of you may have noticed, so I have to mention it, Andrew, sorry, because people may have noticed. He didn't turn his wrist for the block. Bad, 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 bad. There is so much more to stage combat than this. This is the basic first day course of stage combat. There's a lot more to it. We get fights moving, you're on your feet, you're kicking, there's face kicks, there's all kinds of stuff. This is just really, really basic stuff. As a quick recap, your stance. When you set with your partner, you're facing your partner, your left toe is pointed at your partner. You don't want this. You want this. 
Okay? Um, when you do a forward stance, I can go good and deep into a forward stance this way. If I'm this way, I can't do a forward stance. So, do that. Your hands are up here. Fists are like this, not this. All right? Cross, you're prepping here. Fist is next to your ear. Very big difference between this prep and a haymaker prep. Very, very big difference. So you don't want to do this because it's right in between. No one knows what you're doing. So you're crossing here, reaching all the way through, going into a forward stance, coming right on up, up onto your right toes and lining up your elbow to where their jaw was. Um, a jab, same thing, left side. Reaching back and pushing in with your legs and everything, using the leprechaun. Don't forget the leprechauns on jabs and crosses. All right, the hook. Now you're coming back here, nice and wide, and swinging it round. The haymaker and the hook are round punches. The cross and the jab are straight punches. They don't want to go round. Uh, you're never just standing. You're going back stance, forward stance all the time. Even in class 101, when you're not moving your feet, you're still moving your body at all times. But if you follow the instructions that I've given you, no one will get hurt. If someone does get hit, it's not one person or the other's fault, it's both people. If both combatants are following all instructions, no one will get hurt. Again, thank you for watching and maybe we'll have more of these later on. All right, guys. Pop, you want to... What, you want, you want to start in a left hand fighting stance? Right, you're in a regular fighting stance? Pop them in the stomach. Okay, don't, don't go back like that. Pop them in the stomach. Oh. Um, both hands here. You're hitting them with your, with your forearms. Right, she's just going to pop you. So up, you're going. Bang! Yeah. Two things. When you hit them, this is fine. This is fine. Right here, you want your hands going all the way around. Bam! Right, we need to see it. Yeah, you, you gotta, you gotta pop them. A little bit. Just like that. Yeah, all the way Bam! And when he goes down, grab his hair with your downstate hand. Go down. Grab his hair. Back! Wait, no, no. Don't come up in your feet. Don't come up in your feet. Just back and throw it. Wait for him to come up a little bit, not as high as before. Right here. Get this foot up. Trust <laughs> yourself. Um, good, we didn't see your leg enough. And your cross. You rounded it out. You went like this. You want to go there. He stomach punches you.